Hi, I'm Phil with the U-Stripe and InDesign tool. I'm here today to illustrate on how easy it is to use the U-Stripe and InDesign tool from the time you take it out of the box to the time you place it on the wall to paint your first stripe. First thing you do when you get the tool, we take it out of the box. You're going to notice that it's protected in a piece of plastic to protect the tool. After you take it out of the box, you're also going to locate two levels that we're going to place on the tool. The levels are going to go in these two boxes that are titled Level. That is to help you in the process when striping. The levels come with a two-way adhesive sticky tape. What you have to do is peel the one side of the sticky tape and then place it in the box that says Level and I can assure you that if you place it on the line, the baseline of the boxes, your tool will be 100% level. Now that we have the levels in place, it's time to begin step one. Step one is to determine the width of stripe that you're going to do when painting the room. And to do that, we're going to place the tool on a hard surface. And for the purpose of this instructional video, we're going to say that we want to do eight inch stripes. I want to place the top of the tool on the number eight on both sides of the tool. And we're guaranteed that this is eight inches. If we were to do six inch stripes, we place the top of the tool on, on the six, number six with the line. 10 inch, you move it down to the 10 inches, place the tool on the line with the number 10. Again, we had decided to do a number, an eight inch stripe. So we're gonna place the tool on the line that has the number eight. The next thing we have to do is to lock the tool in place. We place a little pressure around the wing nuts to fasten it to the tool. And there you go, you have completed step one. Now for step two. For the purpose of this instructional video, we're going to use this display board to represent a wall in your room. To begin step two, what you want to do is place the tool in the corner of the room where you're going to begin your stripes. For sure, to assure accuracy, make sure your level is on. Using one inch delicate painter's tape, you want to begin at the top of the ceiling line or where you're going to begin your stripe and guide the tape on the outside of the tool. towards the floor to complete your first step. Here we are in step three. We're creating the non-painted stripe. What I want to do is take the tool using the left arm, the left inside of the arm, place it on top of the tape that we had just stuck to the wall. We're going to use that as a guide for our second stripe. Placing the tape at the top of our starting position, moving it down the wall, And there we have our non-painted stripe, step three. Now just to emphasize on how to start step three, I'm going to use another tool which is identical to the tool I was using. However, I put masking tape on where I want you to place the tool 
on top of the painter's tape. This tape does not come with the tool. Again, I just want to show to you that when you place the tool on the wall to start step three, since this is a transparent tool, where this masking tape is, which is the left arm, you want to place the tool on top of the tape as I'm doing here. The inch here will be made up at the one inch painter's tape that you're putting on the right side of the tool. So to start step three, what you want to do is place this masking tape that I have on here on top of the tape that you had put on at step two to create your non-painted strike. Now that we have completed step three, we want to complete the room on repeating steps two and three until our room is finished. What I want to do is place the tool on the outside of the tape from step three. There you have another painted stripe. Now I want to repeat step three. I put the tool on the inside of that stripe. Make sure you're on. There you go, non paint it. Again, repeat the two, three, two, three, until your room is completed. And that's how easy it is to use the use stripe and design tool. Thank you.